What's up, Wagwan Etisang, Flexi C. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not new and if you're new here, welcome. Um, it's Monday. I'm going to the gym. I was gonna go to the gym gym, but I might just go to the gym in my apartment building because <clears throat> I'm so tired. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take my skipping rope. I think I'll do five minutes of skipping, um, 10 minutes on the treadmill, and then whatever else I need to do. Um, yeah. Okay, hi. Um, I am about to go to the salon. Well, actually, I'm going to the nail salon whimsically. Like, I'm actually scared that it's going to be a long wait. I need to do my nails. Um, you can't see how grown out they are, or maybe you can. But, um, yeah, I need to do my nails and my toes because tomorrow's my graduation, um, which is crazy. I feel like this day, I could have graduated in the summer if my program didn't stick our graduation at the end of the year. Um, but I've been waiting to graduate for ages, so yeah, I'm going to graduate tomorrow. Meaning I need to get as beautiful as I possibly can. I've decided to wear a dress I already have. I was really struggling to find something that I liked and I just thought, you know what, I'm not putting myself through this anymore. I'm gonna wear something I know that I love and I know that I'll look back on and be happy about. So I'm wearing something I already have that I can be like happy with. So just come with me while I do my beauty treatments ahead of this week. You were bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, so she drip the swag. Right, hoes, she's graduating. Subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, girl. <laughs> Now somebody, anybody, everybody scream! There's squirrels in my pants! That girl's got some serious squirrels in her pants! There's squirrels in my pants! Tell me what's making you jump like that! Happy graduation to me! Alright vlog, so we decided to have lunch in a restaurant called Vlog Hunter. It's in Greenwich, which is obviously where my uni is. Um, as a North London girl, I'm used to North London Turkish food, so I'll give you my verdict when we are done. It's almost nice. Very. What's the idea? Denzel decided to be different and get his own starter. Why? Why? So different. Yeah, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with my syllabus in. I have some family somewhere. <laughs> A lot of hey vlog, um, <laughs> really weird. I'm back home after graduating. Um, graduation's weird, like the ceremony literally took under an hour and then it's like all the photos and all of that, but I just am very grateful to God to finally, 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 finally be able to fully close this chapter of um, higher education. For those of you who don't know, I studied public health and wellbeing, so that is what my degree is in. I didn't get a scroll because none of us did, which was really annoying. You only got to take a picture with it. But I had been sent my um, degree last week. So that explains why they sent me my degree. Um, yeah, just good vibes. It's quite early because my graduation was early. Right now it's about 4.30. I had uh, food at that place with my family. The verdict is the food was good. Um, it's, how do I say? It was quite similar to what I'm used to, like a meze platter, but... Uh, it was different in 
I just can't put my finger on why it was different. Oh, there were some things that you would usually get at like a North London Turkish restaurant that you didn't really get with this platter. Nonetheless, it was nice food. I didn't enjoy the cocktail though. I had a passion fruit mojito and I feel like you can't get that wrong, but it was just like very strong, not very sweet. If you like your drinks like flavored, but not sweet, then fine. But if I'm gonna get like a flavored drink, I expect it to be sweet. I've had enough mojitos and passion fruit mojitos to know that that was not a passion fruit mojito. Anyway, I have some errands to run, funnily enough. So I'm gonna like get changed and then go about my day. <laughs> it's really weird, but yeah, I'm gonna go about my day because my graduation festivities are done. Go me though. Hey vlog, okay, let me not lie. I did not end up going to Central even after I got all dressed to go. I just felt really tired and I wanted to have dinner and relax and watch Love is Blind. So that's what I did, watch Love is Blind, relax with my cousin. We popped champagne to celebrate me and graduating. She was really sweet. And now I am going to sleep very tired. Tomorrow I'm going out of town. So I need to get ready for that I've got packing to do I've got to get a wax I need to wake up early basically so I can be out in town ready to do everything I need to do tomorrow hey vlog happy Thursday um I'm really excited because I'm going to get a wax I don't know why that's so exciting but it's literally been like over a month so yeah let's go <laughs> I feel like a newborn. The wind is blowing, but I feel like a newborn. I'm now going to proceed to quickly go and run my errands. It's about 10 to one and I have some shopping to do. So I'm gonna go and do that. I have this three piece that I really wanna get from H&M. So I'm gonna endeavor to do that. And then I need to get back and pack chow because we're going on a road trip. Hey vlog, so does anyone else do that thing where you come shopping for one thing but you leave with like everything but that thing? That's what I've done today. Anyway, bag full of things, I'm now gonna leave. Hey vlog, um, just arrived in Manchester. Woo! I'm actually so excited because I've never been before. I'm um, looking forward to an amazing weekend. Okay, I'll check back in maybe tomorrow morning. Good night. Okay, I said good night, but you know, I had to hit you guys with a room tour. Let's freaking go. You were back, girl, and your friends back. You were back. And then the bathroom, even more gorgeous. Lovely shower. I love a shower when I'm staying somewhere. I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. I feel like I look too raggedy to be here right now. It's gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with my choice and I'm usually not the person who picks the um, hotel, so I'm quite proud of myself. So I'm trying to quickly blow up balloons. Official day one in Manchester, um, and today is also his birthday. Woo! Okay, he just want to shout. We're in Ezra and Gil getting brunch breakfast. It is 12 o'clock, so it's our first meal, but it is brunch. Um, they do pancakes all day and they do breakfast from 7 30 to like 5 which is banging and they do other stuff like poke bowls and like coffee and like it has real coffee shop vibes over the other side but like sit and dine so yeah we're gonna grab something Pop your top and how you lose your crew and how you look at me too say why there no fighting no I can't stop it it's the goodbye for the way you pump your fist and how you wash your head for my affection trying to be down no fighting no stopping so I'm slightly obsessed with this what a gorgeous scarf All right, vlog, made it to Zara. Naturally, you know, every city, every country, I have to go to Zara, even if I don't find a single thing. But what I have found are 
these boots. Let's try them on. So here we go again. Thick leg problems. They look good. They don't really fit my calves. Bae says I need the wide leg joints, which is so cheeky. How good would they be if they could fit? So, we're gonna try this boba, I'm scared. fruit mojito and a lychee mojito and I love that they added a little lychee. How's your night going? Vlog, so I'm pretty tired post dinner. Um, dinner was at Australasia. You would have seen what it looks like in the videos. Dinner was a bit of a whirlwind, not gonna lie. It was just like many things. My food was nice um, in the end, but yeah, I can't lie. Did not have the best overall experience at Australasia, just like, yeah. I'm about to take off my makeup and get ready for bed. Tomorrow is Saturday, so it's a new day. Get out some more things, hang out in the city a bit more. But I have to say I'm slumped because dinner you know, ended up being really late at night. So I'll catch you. Hi babes, welcome to today. It is day two, well like full day two, technically day three in Mane. So it is quite late actually. It's going to four. It's probably like quarter two by now. And I'm only now leaving the hotel. So I am going to get some lunch, brunch. Hoping to get like brunch food because I can't lie. As much as I know like breakfast is like a social construct and it's like something that the west made up that there's like breakfast food i still i'm one of those like i like breakfast for dinner so i still want to have breakfast food i.e pancakes waffles uh full english like that is what i fancy at the beginning of my day probably indoctrination but yeah you know is what it is um so basically going to get the car just like so we can move it and i am tasked with finishing getting ready so I should show you my outfit but the background is like so messy so I'm wearing this uh, oversized shirt it's like pinstripe it's from a pretty little thing and I'm wearing my trusty Zara masculine um, trousers and I want to wear my New Balance 530s but I have a feeling I'm gonna do a lot of walking and therefore I'm gonna instead wear my Balenciaga because they are black and it does break up the look, but we move. And I'm gonna put my gilet on so you can see. This is the fit. And I think this will look cute with my little black Balenciagas. This is like quite cute. And I think I'm gonna hold my Gucci bag. 
head long, so we've arrived at the brunch spot. There's music playing, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. The place is called La Vie Cafe. It gives very much um, Elon Cafe vibes. I'm gonna have a full English and... Hey vlog, coming to you live looking tasty. We are going for ramen for dinner. Are we going ramen for dinner? Yeah. We're getting ramen for dinner. I feel like I look too cute for ramen, but I always look too cute for everything that I'm going to do. He looks pretty cute for ramen too. So we're going to get ramen, bye. Bam. Right, so town's popping, everyone's outside. It's Halloween weekend. The people are Halloweening. Um, and I'm not mad at it, everyone's in their costumes. So yeah, shout out Manchester, they take Halloween really seriously. to Sunday uh, today's the last day in Manchester so um, yeah last day vibes I have I've already packed up my things so we're gonna get some food um, maybe go to the football museum and then see the United West Ham game and then make my way home I have work tomorrow so yay me but so far like I say so far overall Manchester's been a good experience different and I really love the city that's really it. So I'm in the lobby chilling, waiting for the car. So we are currently in the National Football Museum in Manchester. Um, just going to have a look at some cool stuff. So, the museum is 
vegan was actually really cool. Now about to eat at Pot Kettle Black. We're gonna have a roast dinner. Sorry if you can't hear me. But yeah, having the rum of beef roast dinner. Boxing. Natasha Jonas. Vidal. United won the game, I bought this hat so I could blend in because we can't be on the home turf and lots of people the home team, I'm going to get beaten out. Um, it was a good game, it could have been much faster. I will reserve my commentary because I'm not a football commentator, but it was good. All right, vlog, as much as you know that I don't support this team, I'm keeping this on because I know that my hair must look crazy under here. The game was really good. Um, <clears throat> home team took the win, so yeah, up United, <laughs> she says, because she's in Manchester. I went in Rome, do you know what I mean? But yeah, good game, great last thing to do in Manchester, and now to head home. Hey, vlog, um, how are you lot doing today? Hope you're feeling good. I just ordered McDonald's. I'm in pain on my period and I currently don't feel like I can go anywhere. I'm supposed to be going to a concert tonight. So I'm just hoping that I'm better by then. So also, everyone's been chatting about the McCrispy and I find it really annoying. I don't usually get FOMO, but people are like, oh my God, it's so good. Nah, 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 nah. I just feel like I know it's not gonna be as good as they say. It's McDonald's, like, it's never that good, do you know what I mean? Even when it's good. Actually, let me not stop my bag. Maybe it's good, McDonald's. <laughs> Holler at me if you want to prove me right or wrong. Mm, so anyway, I got the McCrispy. And I actually got it with cheese because I like cheese on my burgers. Don't care if it's a chicken burger. And I'm more likely to like it that way, so let's try it. Yeah, like it's nice. Okay, I won't lie, it is nice. It is nice. I don't know why people are acting like it's God's gift to the earth, but it's a nice burger. But it's like also not nicer than like other burgers. I don't know how to say this. It's not like, oh my gosh, best burger I've ever had. Anyway, so I spent most of this day just sitting here trying to edit and like watching um, vlogs, but I'm getting bored now. So I'm gonna go um, back to chilling i'll catch you guys later hopefully when i'm getting ready for the concert that i will be attending tonight Hello. all right vlog so showered when i say these cramps are beating me down not up they're beating me down um <laughs> it literally took me like 45 minutes to finish creaming my skin because my cramps were that bad. So I'm gonna take some ibuprofen because I can't come and myself. Um, I've done some laundry earlier today, so I put some stuff in the washing machine, so I'm gonna need to hang that stuff up. Did not foresee myself doing chores. No, I'm, I made it so I'm doing chores, but I'm not happy about it. Yeah, that's the way I should say that. Okay, I'm not gonna hold you. When I was putting this in, it felt like a lot of laundry, but now that I've taken it out, it's actually not that much. So let's just hang this up. So uh, done with laundry, it was getting a bit chilly, so I'll put a hoodie on and I've decided to sit on the floor because we're gonna get into this a thousand piece puzzle. Because I need to relax my nerves. I picked this up in Rhodes, literally at the airport, because I wanted something cool to do. But look how many puzzle pieces it is, and they are tiny. 
So I'm gonna try and see what I can get done in the next couple of hours, just to do something chilled. So yeah. Hey vlog, um, so I know I look real different to when you last saw me, but I am late to, I'm going to actually, I didn't say what concert, I'm going to a Koji Radical concert, very excited. I think I've been to almost every Koji concert in London anyway, because, duh, but yeah, that's where I'm going, I need to go now. <laughs> Can I speak to him? <laughs> well, where do I begin? Listen, if you're a Koji fan, you'll know where both of those are from. But I just got back from the Koji Radical Reason to Smile London show. And I was just recapping in my mind on the commute home how many Koji Radical shows I've been to. And I have to say, every single time Koji has a show, it's always better than the last. And this show, 100% his best yet. 100% his best yet. Reason to Smile was definitely up there as my album of the year. Um, but the show was amazing. He did absolutely everything that you could want an artist to do. The production was amazing. The backing vocalists, the band, the instrumentalists. Like, I can't rave about it enough. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, 20 out of 10 show. I'm so, so happy that I dragged my ass outside even though I wasn't feeling like 100. <clears throat> because... This is something I would have been sad to miss. So if you weren't there, sucks to be you. If you were, you were a real one. But like, honestly, like best show. I'm looking forward to concert season so much and I love kicking off concert season with a Koji Radical show. This cold season is college season and that's on, and that's on Koji Radical. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to see my hoodie? I got some merch. I'm not usually a merch kind of babe, but because I got the vinyl, I thought, just get a cheeky hoodie, do you know what I mean? Right, so. This is the back of the hoodie and it says, turn that frown <laughs> and it's obviously upside down so that you can see it and smile. I think it's so cute. I'm going to wear it literally tomorrow. But anyway, that's enough from me for tonight. I need to sort out my flat and then I'm going to get ready for bed. Good night. So rather than just ending the night, I've decided to also end the whole vlog here. I've had an amazing week, as you can see, from my graduation to my trip to Manny to the Koji Radical show. So hope you really enjoyed it. Um, this time, if you got to the end, then leave the star emoji. So I know that you made it here. So I know who my OGs and real ones are. Love you lot so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.